Welcome everyone to our CFE intro session. If you are joining the class with me, this is what you need to learn for you to understand how we are going to get you certified within four weeks. So, so many delegates, they say, yeah, are you giving the questions? Are you actually giving the answers to the delegates? How someone can actually get certified within four weeks compare if they are going to go and study on their own, it will take them more than six months study. When I studied myself, it took me six months. So how we are getting you certified within four weeks? Well, actually, we are doing most of the hard work for you. We are giving you the material, summarizing all the concepts in the exam. We are guiding you over the class, over the important topics, and explaining to you in details how you need to understand them for you to be able to pass the CFE exam. In addition to that, we are guiding you step by step all over the material in English, in Arabic, by summarizing the information, by giving you examples. So at the end of the day, when you go to this exam, you are going to score the passing uh, mark from the first time, and you are going to be certified within four weeks. So that's the objective. Now, before we get started, let's go over understanding what is the concept of fraud examination. What are you going to study? Because I have so many delegates who attend the class. They say, yeah, I work in accounting. Yeah, I work in, uh, in uh, different areas. So, so I want to make sure that actually you are understanding this area uh, uh, perfectly. All right, so just to make sure everything is okay, uh, uh, that my voice is clear, just write in the chat box to make sure my voice is clear for you. All right, now, uh, the definition of fraud examination. What is the definition of fraud examination? The definition of fraud examination is about resolving allegation of fraud from tip uh, complaints, accounting clues. So we need to understand, we need to teach you during this course, how can you handle cases from the minute you hear about fraud case that you get some red flags to co collecting the document in the proper way, to conducting the proper interview, to get the information, to be able to write the effective fraud investigation report, and then how can you go to the court and testify to the court, and then how can you help the organization in fixing the internal controls to ensure that this fraud will not happen in the future. This is what we call the fraud examination methodology, which is created by the Association of Certified Fraud Examiners. Now, for all of you, if you want to be actually certified fraud examiners, ACFE say that you need to actually uh, have certain skills. Fraud examiners, they need to be what? They need to be, they don't need to be a lawyer, but they need to have the same skills as a lawyer, accountant, criminologist, and investigator. These are the skills that you need to have. So some will say, yeah, but why? I thought it, we are speaking about investigation. No, no, no. We need to understand when you are handling any investigation case, most likely it's going to end up in court. So this is why you need to really understand the legal aspect of it. How can you collect the evidence in the proper way? How can you document the evidence in the proper way? How can you actually go and testify in court? How can you deal with the criminal cases, with civil cases? How can you deal with cases in civil law countries, common law countries? Uh, this is, these are the issues that you need to understand. And this is why we need to have the skills of a lawyer related to handling fraud cases. Also, you need to have the skills of an accountant. So someone say, no, no, yet. I hate accounting. I don't want accounting, please. Yes, I understand that you don't like accounting, which is not bad because in the CFE, we are not going to go over accounting. Accounting only represents a small portion of it. In the exam, you will not get more than two or three questions about accounting. But what we are going to speak about, we are going to speak about the financial fraud. So you need to understand how can someone manipulate the financial accounting. So we are not going to be speaking about accounting. We need to understand how can someone manipulate the sales? How can someone manipulate uh, uh, actually the expenses, the uh, financial statement? How can someone manipulate the inventory value inside the organization? So we are going to be speaking about the different financial schemes that you know, you need to understand when you are examining fraud inside your organizations. Also, you need to have the knowledge of criminologists. What's the meaning of that? You need to go inside your organization and not only investigate fraud, you need to help the organization in ensuring they have the proper internal controls to make sure fraud will not happen. They need to make sure they have the proper compliance, ethics program, governance, to make sure that they have the right structure, and the right processes, so in that way, fraud will be captured at early stages. And this is why we need to understand the science of crimes. And finally, we need to understand the principles of investigation. 
what are the proper way of collecting the evidence? How can we plan for the investigation? How can we actually examine digital evidence? How can we go and after that document this evidence, write the fraud examination report? So these are all the issues that we need to understand. On top of that, it's very important to figure out the interviewing techniques. How can you speak with someone and be able to collect the information from them in the proper way and use it during your investigation? So these are the, the skills that you need to have as a fraud examiner. This is why ACFE, they created this Certified Fraud Examiner Certificate around 31 years ago. And they say, what we are gonna test you, we are gonna test you over these four aspects in four exams. So now the exams are the following. You have two hours for every one of these subjects and you have 100 questions, multiple choice questions. These questions can be true and false and they can be multiple choice. So in the exam, you will get around 30 questions, true and false, and the rest, they are multiple choice questions. So these questions are very interesting. Why? Because they are going to test your knowledge. This is not CIA exam, not CMA exam. The focus on this question is they are practical questions. They are about real life examination. We're not speaking about theory. You can't teach fraud examination about theory because at the end of the day, if you don't know how to carry out a proper fraud investigation inside your organization, you may go to prison, they may have a legal action against you, or maybe you lose your fraud case. It's a serious issue. So we are teaching you practical knowledge and skills that you need to apply in real life and the same way questions will come in this way. They will say you have a situation or you need to understand certain definition or you need to figure out what is the proper answer here. So in that way, if you have experience related to fraud examination or internal audit or compliance, that will help you. But at the same time, you need to know the best practices because maybe what you are doing currently is not the best practices. So again, let me explain the question, the, in the exam, the exam, two hours for every one of the subjects and you have 100 questions for you to answer. Now, all the questions will count. So in that way, the meaning there are no uh, practice question or, or assembly questions. And if you answer any questions incorrectly, it will not have negative effect, negative, negative marks. So if you want to actually pass the CFE exam, this is what you need to do. You need to buy the fraud examination manual, which is 2000 pages plus, and you need to study it on your own and read it step by step, page by page for six months. This is what I did for me to pass the CFE exam. I wish I, I heard about the class like the class you are attending now, where in four weeks, by the way, four weeks because you are attending online. If you attend my live courses within five days, you are certified. Yes, we have more than 700 delegates pass the exam with us within five days. But it's okay, over the internet, we can do it five days. It's not practical. We do it every week. You study one subject and then you take the exam on, uh, over the weekend. So within four weeks, you are certified. The, so many individuals, they are trying to teach the course online for five days, it's not gonna work. The online world is different than the face-to-face -face world. Uh, world. All right, so this is the fraud examination manual. So someone say, yeah, you are gonna teach us all that in four weeks, how? I say, Let, relax, we are not gonna teach you everything. We are gonna teach you the main principles that are important for two things. For you in real life to carry out investigation and the, the important topics and the questions that you are gonna get in the exam. So my focus is not only on getting you passing the exam, no, I want to teach you the practical knowledge. So when you are going to carry your work as a fraud examiner inside your organization, you will know exactly what you are doing. So that's uh, very important. Now, our class is going to go in the following way. So this is our updated schedule. So, so make sure you look at our updated schedule. I already sent it to you uh, by email. I already sent it to you uh, available in Scology. And make sure you always follow the schedule. So this schedule is based on Dubai time or based on UAE time. You check your country and see which uh, uh, you know, timing that you have. So in Saudi or uh, uh, other countries, uh, uh, Oman, you are gonna have like, uh, uh, I don't know what, what, I think one hour before, it depends on your time. In Malaysia, you are gonna have four hours before, uh, uh, after, four hours after. So check your time. We have delegates attending from different uh, cities. So make sure that you are actually uh, attending uh, attending the, based on your time. Now, look at this. W when we are speaking about certified fraud examiner, these are the four topics, and these are the subtopics we are going to study. So we are going to be studying about planning and conducting fraud investigation, interviewing skills. So these are the subjects we are going to study during the first session, in August 2nd. It's going to be from 7 to 9. 
So let me explain to you how it will happen. We are going to start at 7. Then at 7.50, we'll take a break for around uh, 10 minutes. Then we will continue until 9. In that, case, in that case, by the end of that day, we finish planning and conducting fraud investigation and uh, interviewing the theory. You need to go back home and open your CFE prop course and answer the review sessions for these questions. Don't do the practice exam. Focus on the review sessions. Someone say, yeah, but the practice exam is important. Yes, I understand. But if you want to do the practice exam and you have time, you can. But don't waste your time. If you do the review sessions, it's more than enough. So I am here to help you get the exam with the least amount of effort. If you want to add more effort, yes, you can. If you want to study for 27 hours, you can. But I want you to study only enough for you to pass the exam. So investigation, we are going to have the first session August 2nd. Then we will have August 4th, uh, we will cover these topics. Then we are going to have uh, August 5th, we will cover these topics. Then you are going to take your exam over the weekend. So make sure all of you submitted your CFE exam application. I sent a reminder to some of you who didn't submit it. Make sure you submit it. Why? Because we need to get you your exam keys. You are going to get your exam keys and you will be able to take the exam next week. So next week, we will give you your exam keys and you will be able to take your exam. So that's very important. All right. So one, one question saying, can the review course be taken in parts as were the course conducted? You can take it in any way you want. Whatever technique you want to do, you can take the class based on it. So whatever you want, you can take it. You can take investigation or you can take uh, financial. Remember, the sessions that we are going to have, they will be recorded later. So that way you can watch them later at the proper time that you want. So you can do whatever way you want. Exam keys, we provide them to you. When? We provide them to you after August 5th. So the exam keys will be coming between August 4th, August 5th, August 6th, something like that. So only after we finish the first day, you can actually take the exam for that section. So make sure you submit your exam application by maximum August 3rd, maximum August 3rd. You submit it, and then you will be able to actually go and take the exam uh, uh, with us after the first week. Now, after that, we are going to go over the section after the financial transaction and fraud schemes. And you are going to go study all these subjects. Now, for these sessions, we are doing the session from 7 to 9.30. So in that way, the sessions are two and a half hours because we have more topics to cover. So it's going to be, we cover this sub subject, we cover this subject, this subject. Then you take your exam over the weekend. Then we, the week after, we go over law related to fraud. We cover these subjects. Then you take your exam after. Then after that, we cover these subjects, and then you take your exam after. So you go do them step by step. That's the whole idea. All right, now let's explain to you what is the package that you have paid for for this class. So because you are attending our online course, this is the option that you are taking. You, we have paid for you to ACFE for one year membership. We have paid for you for the CFE exam fees. We have paid for you to, for access to the CFE abroad course where you are going to have the study questions, where you have the practice questions, where you have money back guarantee. If you answer all the questions and score more than 85%, and then you take the exam and you fail, ACF will give you your money back if you don't want to continue. Also, you have access to the flashcard. Don't use it. It's a waste of time. Okay, so flashcard is not so much useful. You have uh, access to the fraud examination manual online in your account, and you have the study guide, which is the book that we have sent you. And you are going to attend our classes over uh, uh, 26 hours online with us. So these are the, uh, the, uh, uh, the items that you are getting. Plus, do you know you are going to pass the CFE exam within four weeks. So usually the price for this course is around $4,000. You get it for uh, $1,994. We are going to start doing CFE exam review courses live. And the price for it is 3000 which is starting from September. So, so th this is, is good that you are taking it now online because uh, usually with the live classes, it's more expensive. Now, what is the value of the CFE? Why you want to be certified? What is the main uh, advantage of it? Why the demand is so high on CFE? Just uh, during Corona, we had more than 300 delegates join our classes. So why? Why the demand is so high? Because they say if you have CFE compared to other 
of your colleagues, they don't have CFE, your salary will go up 34%. And in the Middle East, 63%. So there is a huge demand on the certification, especially in the banking sector, especially on the government, in the financial institutions, in the retail, in the big groups, in, in private groups. So the, there is a huge demand on it. And why? Someone said, yeah, why huge demand? Because the fraud is booming. <laughs> All the time, fraud is booming more and more, especially at the time of crisis, when the economy is bad. Everyone is trying to do fraud, and this is why they need more fraud examiners. They need to open more investigation, which is good for you because you are going to have more opportunities and more work. Now, for us, we have been delivering uh, the CFE for the last six years. So and, and last year, we have uh, celebrated five years anniversary with ACFE, and we have delivered the CFE course so far to more than 1,000 delegates. 1,000 delegates attended our class. And these are the group classes that we have. Usually, even our live classes face-to-face, -face, they are massive. We have unbelievable amount of delegates. Last class we conducted live in December last year, we had 72 delegates live in our class. It was crazy, but it was amazing because we were able to get most of them certified. Someone said, yeah, what's the meaning most of them? Well, our passing grade, they are between 85 to 95 uh, to 90%. So I said, wait, so we have 10%, they don't pass the exam? No, 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 I will tell you 10%, they don't take the exam. If you follow our advice, if you attend the class, it's impossible not to pass the exam. If you follow everything we say, your English is good or a little bit good, you have issue, you have difficulty, at the end of the day, we are gonna get you certified. But if you decide not to put the effort, if you don't want to study, if you are not gonna take the exam, if you defer it, if you say later, next month I will take the exam, the month after, the month after, you are not gonna pass the exam. So you need to follow our advice step by step and you will be able to get certified. And be like all of them, celebrating that you are certified fraud examiner. We already have more than 700 delegates past the exam, but this is all. We just updated today. By today, we have 900 delegates past the CFE exam with us. These are 700 delegates past face to face. We added another 200 delegates online. They passed with us only in the last two months. So now we have 900 delegates. So I'm hoping with you, with us passing the CFE exam, we can break the 1,000 record. Yes, we have 1,000 delegates past the CFE exam with us. So I am gonna make sure that I will support you as much as possible so in that way we can score a record uh, with you. Now, usually our live classes, they are like this. This is our first class we have conducted. It's very nice, lovely class where we have you know, uh, delegates uh, uh, attending uh, and they are really enjoying the class. And this is the second class that we had. You know, there is no space to fit all of them. <laughs> Sometime we will have in the Zoom different tabs to fit all of them. Now, when I teach my classes, I will not have your camera on and your audio on. This is only the last day when we are taking group photo. Usually, I will be speaking. If you have any questions, there is a chat. And at the end of the session, I will be able to answer any of your questions that you have. So if you have any questions, you can turn on your camera. We can talk. We can discuss after. Or if you have any questions, you can write it here. And you know we will be able to answer your questions directly while I'm doing the presentation. So even if I have 2,000 people attending, while I'm speaking, I look at the chat, I see what you are answering, uh, you are asking questions, and I will answer you while I'm talking. So it will be very interactive. All right, now, what you need to do, you need to do from now until the beginning of our class, you need to start studying. So you have already access to Scology. So in Scology, you have actually the sessions that we have recorded before. You can go watch it. And at the same time, you can study the CFE prop course. So look at the homework that you need to do. Most of you, you already have the book. Even if you don't have the book, it's not important because the videos are available online. So what you do, you study the first section, which is interviewing. Then you go and do the CFE prop course for only that section. And I'm going to show you how you do it. So how we are going to actually study. First, you go to Scology. You study from Scology. And after you study from Scology, you are going to go and you are going to do the review sessions for only the section you watch the video for. Not all of them. One by one. So these are the sections we are covering. From now until our class, you start with the investigation. Then after that, in the class, we are going to go over financial. Then we are going to go over law. Then we are going to go over fraud, prevention, and deterrence. Now, you saw how nice is the book. The book is summarized, focusing on all the concepts in the exam. This is the secret weapon. The book got everything you need. If you study the book, you pass the exam. 
Now remember, no one can get this book that you have unless they register for the class. They are not allowed to buy it from ACFE. They can't find it online. This book is the secret. If you have that book, this is what's gonna get you passing the CFE exam. Now for us, we created this amazing online platform for you, for you to study with us. So we have, you know, the intro sessions, we have the investigation sections, everything is organized properly in that. So with that, let me take you to this, so, so we explain to you what to do. So if you are gonna go to our website, first you need to log in. So we send you the instruction with the code. So you click on that uh, uh, link I send you, and then you enter the code for the session. And after you enter the code for the session, you will be able to create an account for you and you will have account in Scholarship. So once you log in, let me log in here. Once you log in, you need to go click on uh, courses and then you need to click on CFE. Once you click on courses and CFE, what's gonna happen? You are gonna see everything here. So if you want to attend our webinars that we are gonna have, where is the link for our webinars? Here is the link for the webinar. You click on the webinar, you will see here the link and the password. So you have not, I can see the password, this of course. I'm not gonna show the password unless you are registering in the class. So in that way, once you are registered in the class, when you log in, you will see the password here. And you will click on the link, you will have the password, uh, enter the password, and after that you can attend, and here's the full schedule that we have. So also we have the schedule here for you. You need to use the same link for all the sessions that you are gonna attend. There is no different link for different sessions. So this is the link and this is the, the, the access. So this is how you are gonna attend all our sessions. Make sure you attend them based on the proper time. So in that way, check your time zone and figure out the proper time for you to attend with us. All right, after that, what you need to do, every time we do a session, we have the session recorded here. So these are the sessions that we have. So we have section one, section two, section three. So here are all the sections. And we have also summary videos. So summary videos are so nice. We created these summary videos, which is they are around half hour summarizing all the topics. So just you watch them before taking the exam. And for Arabic speakers, we have Arabic summary videos. So the Arabic summary video, they explain everything to you from A to Z in Arabic. So if you are an Arabic speaker, my suggestion before I deliver any topic, you go watch it before my class. You go watch today the Arabic uh, version so you understand the topics in Arabic, then you go watch the English version. And for others who are actually studying in English, before they start uh, studying, go watch the summary video, then start studying. Then after you finish studying before the exam, go watch the summary video again. The summary video is very nice, summarizing quickly everything for you to be able to uh, pass the exam. Now, what you are gonna do from now until our first day, which is August 2nd, you are gonna click on this section one. Then you are gonna go and study it there. And after that, after you go and study it, what you will do, you need to go and do the CFE prop course questions. So this is what you are gonna do. You will go and do the CFE prop course questions. Where you are gonna do the CFE prop course questions in your ACFE account. So you say, yeah, I don't understand that. Can you explain to me? Yeah, let me explain to you. You are gonna go to your ACFE account. You are gonna log in. So you are gonna click login. Then after that, you are gonna click login. Okay, let me enter my password. After you log in, look where you need to go. You need to click my account. You need to click my account. After that, you click my transactions. After that, you will go and you see something called CFE Brock Course 2020. Next to the printer, there is a window. You click on it. And after that, there is a code. You copy that code and you click on this link. So you copy the code, you click on the link, and that will take you here to the CFE exam login preparation. Also, you use the same username and password. So in that way, you use the same username that you have. And the same password. You click login. Now you log into your application. But for the first time, you need to go copy the code that you have here and use it. So you need to copy that code. 
you copy the code, then in, they ask you for the code here, you enter it, and now you can log into your CAP prop course. Now, in the CAP prop course, we have pre assessment. Don't waste your time with the pre assessment. What you need to do, you need to go to the review sessions. So let's say we started with the investigation. You go to investigation, you, you unclick include all, then you click mark and correctly answer. So all of them need to be clicked. Then you select, for example, interviewing techniques. And then you start with that and you start a uh, start review session. In case you can't see start review session or you can't see anything, try to resize your window or try to actually use Chrome or try to uh, uh, log in again or refresh your screen to see everything. Then after you start that, you finish it, you go to another subject and then you start it again. So this is how you are going to study, section by section. We're not going to study all of them at the same time. Section by section. Now, before the exam, can you see here there are some questions answered correctly and there are some questions answered incorrectly. What will happen after the exam? You click all the questions that are answered incorrectly, you see? And you do, before you take the exam, all the questions answered incorrectly to ensure that you answer them correctly. Why? Based on research, they say, if you answer the question incorrectly during your preparation, most likely you are going to answer it also incorrectly when you take the exam. So we need to make sure you will answer it correctly. So you click uh, 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 an incorrect answer and you practice. Do you want to do the practice exam? You can do the practice exam. It's up to you, but it's not really necessary to do the practice exam. Just focus on answering all the questions in the review session, section by section. Now, someone will say, yeah, wait, in our book, we have in, in the interviewing section only one section, but here they have interviewing theory and they have interviewing the suspect. Yes, if you see in the first uh, chapter, which is interviewing, you will see that the last two, three pages, the title called interviewing suspect and science statement. So this is already covered in your book in the last couple of pages. So don't worry. When you are studying interviewing, you need to select both of them. All right, so this is clear. Let me see if you ha we have any question. Where to find the review? Uh, we discuss where. Okay, uh, can we get the link uh, to this recording? Yes, everything, Rania, will be available where? Will be available in Scology. So Rania, she said, I want the recording. The recording is already available. You want the recording? Look where you will find the recording. You will go to, uh, to uh, no, sorry, this is not the actual screen. Where's the actual screen? Okay, here's the actual screen. You go here, uh, Rania, and you go, uh, you go back to material. And you click on the intro session, and then you can see see this overview, the session that we are doing, the overview, it's here, it's available. This is the, the, the one that we recorded before, now we'll uh, have the updated one. So you are going to have it here. Okay, so another question saying, from now until August 2nd, we need to start with the online resources and go through the book. Yes, you start at least with the investigation, at least get investigation out of your way. So at least start with investigation. That's important to get investigation out of your way. So at least do investigation. All right. Let me see. Okay, how many questions in the final exam? We have 100 questions and you have two hours to complete them. So 100 questions, two hours to complete them. All right, let me go back to our presentation. So now, after you prepared and you studied and you did everything you need to do, now how about taking the exam? When you are going to take the exam, we are going to send you uh, the link to take the exam with four exam codes. Now let me explain the concept of four exam codes. If you don't, don't take the course with us, if you study on your own, you need to take exam number one, exam number two, exam number three, exam number four, then you will know your results. And in case you fail, you need to actually take it again. With us, no. You are going to take exam number one. In two business days, you are going to get your results. You are going to take exam number two. In two uh, uh, business days, you will get your results. So in that case, you will know if you pass or fail. And immediately, you can take it again. So they will send you a new, co new code. The good news is that you have three free trials. In case you fail, you can take the exam over and over until you pass the exam. Three times free of charge. After that, you have to pay $100. But based on my experience, most of my students, they clear the exam from the first time. So don't worry. If you really focus from first time, you can clear the exam with no issue. Now, if you are going to take the exam, you are going to go to the exam portal. And this is how it will look like. As of now, if you are going to take the exam and study with us, the exam is actually based on the old system. What's the meaning in the old system? There is no camera. There is no monitoring. So you are going to take the exam with a timer. So the monitoring is the timer. What's the meaning monitoring is a timer? 
you are going to have 75 seconds to clear the uh, every question. So one question, 75 seconds. If you don't finish within 75 seconds, the timer will actually take you to the next question and the first question is gone, expired. So you need to make sure you answer every question within 75 seconds. What if you select an answer and the question expired, it's counted, no issue. But just you need to answer every question within 75 seconds. If you save some time in one question, it's not gonna move you to the other question. So 75 seconds per question. So you have three times to take the exam over and over for every single part. For every single part, you have three times. Now, how you are gonna take the exam? You are gonna go to the exam portal here. And after you go to the exam portal, can you see here something called enter exam key? You are gonna click enter exam key and we are gonna give you four codes. You click and you enter the exam key. After you enter the exam key, you go to something called CFE exam. So when you go to the CFE exam, you select the exam that you want to take, that you enter the exam key for, and then you click start the CFE exam. And then the exam will start. Again, in the, in the exam, 75 seconds per question. 75 seconds per question. You can take five minutes break. If you say, oh, I'm so tired. The questions are so hard. I need to get some coffee. You can take five minutes break, but only five minutes. After that, the, uh, the timer is gonna continue. Then after you finish the, the exam, you need to go and click Submit CFE exam. I can't tell you how important is that. If you take the exam and you forget to click Submit CFE exam, ACFE will not get your result. So you take an exam, you go click Submit CFE exam, so the ACFE will get your result. So they ask you, are you sure you want to submit the exam? You say yes. Then the exam submitted, then ACFE will give you your result within two business days. If you forget to submit CFE exam and you enter another code, your exam is gone. So you need to make sure you are submitting the CFE exam on time. Now, if you want additional uh, concepts about how can you do it and how can you prepare for the CFE, there is a video that I have for you called nine best uh, study tips about passing the CFE exam within less than a month. And where you can find them, where they are available, again, they are available in your platform. You can see them here. Uh, sorry, you can, let's go back. You can see them here. Best study tips to pass the CFE exam. And you can see here, how can you study using the CFE Broad course? If someone says, yeah, explain to me, how can I access the CFE Broad course? How can I practice? You can go back here and you can actually look at it. And we have a step-by-step -step guide for you to submit your CFE exam in case you didn't submit your CFE exam yet. So all the resources, everything you need to have is available in Scholarship. On top of that, we have our WhatsApp group. Our WhatsApp group is very important. Why? I will share additional videos and additional resources on the WhatsApp group. If you are not part of my WhatsApp group, make sure you click on the link that we send you and you join, or you send me a message and I will add you to the WhatsApp group. So for this class, you have three resources. You have the Scology with all the resources that we have and the live lectures. You have the uh, ACFE, CFE prep course where you practice the exams and we have the WhatsApp group to support you with it. So these are three resources that can help you step by step prepare, and at the end of the day, pass the CFE exam within four weeks. And that's the whole idea. Four weeks, you are certified. Not five weeks, four weeks. We have some delegates who actually, they were ahead of the game and they were able to pass with less than four weeks. But if you want to relax, study every day around an, an hour and a half, two hours, attend our classes, practice the exam, we can actually help you becoming certified for the examiner within less than a month and we will be able to support you step by step all the way. Not only to be certified, but to know the knowledge, the best practices to carry out your actually job duties related to investigation during your work and in your future career. Okay, so with that is the end of my presentation. If you have any questions, you know my contact information, you can actually contact me and you know, I would be able more than happy to answer all your questions by email or by WhatsApp or uh, anything else.